what's going on youtube come back at you with another video okay so this is kind of interesting six nine has been hit with a slew of lawsuits over the past month first fashion nova sued him for 2.2 .2 million dollars then snow billy we heard is filing a lawsuit against takashi six nine for allegedly calling a hit that left him with a bullet in his head then we also heard about this woman from Smurf Village in Brooklyn being shot in the foot when Takashi allegedly ordered gang members to shoot his rivals. So Snow Billy speaking on his situation, he's putting up what looks to be excerpts from um, the 6 ix testimony in court. So this says 6 9 he's called Snow. He did a podcast saying he's not down with that rainbow head piece of shit. I called Shotty and put him on FaceTime with Snow. Snow tells him, love him, or she, excuse me, Shotty tells him, love him like I love him. I had another phone at the time. I contact Harv. I put my phone on the charger. Then Mel Murder came. We start following Snow. We see him in the Brooklyn House Hotel where I used to say, Mel Murder tells Snow, don't touch him, don't look his way. Then Harv shows up with Billy Otto. He was armed. He said, once I announced on the podcast that I wasn't down with the rainbow head piece of shit, as he stated on the stand under oath, because of the pedophile charges he was charged with in the past, he called Shadi, Mel, and Harv, who was armed, and Takashi 6 9 ordered Mel Murder to put the plot together to kill me so he could have no problems joining the blood gang. That was the first post he put up, and then he put up another one. Takashi testified against Aaron, which is Bat, after cooperating with authorities and taking a plea deal. Takashi also said this about his own crime via Forbes. I paid a person to shoot a rival member of Nine Trey to scare him. To maintain or increase my own standing in Nine Trey. Last up is the woman who got shot by accident because of Takashi. Back in 2018, the woman was shot in the foot during a gang shooting. He apologized to her in court, saying he would pay her medical bills. She's decided that's not enough. TMZ says she's filed a $150 million lawsuit under the name Jane Doe. Jane says that in July 2018, she was out in the courtyard of the Smurf Village apartment complex in Brooklyn where a music video was being filmed. Takashi was there and allegedly ordered his boys to shoot at his rivals. Bullets flew and Jane got, in the, got shot in the foot, which caused her to fall and mess up her back. She needed surgery. In both physical and mental therapy, he said, Takashi 69 aka Daniel Hernandez, admitted in federal court on stand, I paid a person to shoot at a rival member of Nine Trey to scare him, to maintain or increase my own standing in Nine Trey. Takashi 69 has showed the world that his behavior conduct demonstrates ordering extreme violence on one life to going as far as to have Shane Snow Billy Hardy murdered for not accepting him into the gang culture. According to court documents, he has ordered several hits on people's lives to further his status under the gang umbrella. Um, This is an interesting situation. First of all, if Takashi is found liable, which, you know, he could be, if, if this situation with this woman getting shot um, you know, if she can prove that Takashi called this hit or was involved in this situation, he could be held liable potentially. And she's suing for 150 million. So this is not a small lawsuit. This is not a, a, a small thing. Um, this is a major, you know, lawsuit that Takashi is going to have to fight. Snow Billy as well. Snow Billy was shot in the back of his head. He could have died if Snow Billy is able to prove in court. Although some people out there aren't going to be for that idea at all being snow billies from the streets you know why is this street stuff going to court um but if he's able to prove that takashi 69 ordered a hit 
which left him shot in the back of his head. I mean, this could be devastating for Takashi moving forward financially. This could cripple him, basically, the same way I said before we saw um, Death Row and with Suge Knight and his $150 million lawsuit. So she got shot in the foot. She's claiming she has back problems and mental issues because of this situation. She's suing for one hundred fifty million. So that leads me to believe that you know Snow Billy, he's probably going to be coming with a pretty big number as far as lawsuit goes. And on top of that, Takashi has the two point two million from Fashion Nova that he's got to deal with. So I mean, you know, Takashi might make it out of this unscathed. You know, depending on how this shit goes in court for him, but definitely not unscathed financially because having lawyers fighting all these cases costs a lot of money. Um, I would be hard pressed to believe that Takashi hasn't spent a ton of money already on legal fees and, you know, to defend himself from these massive lawsuits. I'm assuming it's going to cost a lot as well. So Takashi. Although I've said it before, you know, criminally, criminally, he skated for the most part. I mean, he should have been doing a whole lot of time in prison, but yet he gets to walk out later this year, a free man. Although he made it unscathed in his whole Rico situation, this could potentially cripple him. We'll see how this plays out moving forward. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, though. What do you think about these lawsuits? Do you think Takashi is liable to these people for these things that happened let me know what you think hit the like subscribe share leave some feedback make sure you ring the notification bell too if you're subscribed i appreciate you